Hi crafty friends, Jen Meyer here with Crafting Memories with Jen Meyer and I have um, an unboxing for you from Queen and Company. So um, not endorsed, not sponsored in any way, you guys know that. Um, but they did have a sale on embellishments a week or so ago and I ordered those and then um, they have a foundations die for card making a bundle that they had that I missed out on a couple of weeks ago and they did get more in and I was kind of still debating and you know back and forth like I already have a ton of dies um, but it was my birthday last month so I spent my birthday money but I've been holding on to this package now for a week and this other one literally was dropped off about well 15 minutes ago so I wanted to open these up just so you guys could see um, some of the embellishments and things like that that I got from Queen and Company because they did have a sale for 20% off. So I thought that was a pretty decent deal. And they usually do have the free shipping over, I don't know, $59 or $60 or something like that. So I, of course, you know, took that as a challenge. I was not going to pay for shipping when I was going to get that for free. So anyways, watch me as I fumble this open. I just have been waiting. I wanted you guys to see this. And then um, I also wanted to tell you about they've got uh, an online event coming up too, which you guys might be interested in. Okay, so, woo, fun, fun, fun. Okay, so first thing I did get was um, refills for my uh, shaker cards that I make for my Disney clients. So that's the, uh, the acetate and the foam refills. And then I did get the base dies. So when I first bought my set, um, this is something that they've been doing that's a little bit newer um, so that you can cut background paper that will fit uh, exactly underneath. Or if you want to cut your own acetate, now you would have the correct size in which to do that. So these are two things that work with kits that I previously um, have. So I thought it was time to, to get those. So we'll put those aside, and then here is the bling, 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 bling. And I'll try to tell you the prices of things as we go. Let's see. Put this over here. Okay. I just got one of these. These are these sea stone gems. They were, what color was it? Hold on, I'm looking for the color. The sea gems are teal. All right, so these were $2.95 and then 20% off. So I thought these were great. Oh, little thank you bling for free. Ooh, those are so pretty. They're like one little larger gem surrounded by a ton of teeny little ones. Very pretty. Thank you, Queen and Company. That was awesome. All right, so I could not resist these buttons. Um, you know, if I'm buying all these shaker things, I needed some buttons to go with them. So these are called Button Bouquet 4. They have lots of different buttons and things like that. I think what it has to do with the different shapes and things that are in there. So for instance, these are flower buttons. These are a little bit different than this assortment. So button bouquet four, I got these, two of those, a pink, uh, any other ones from button bouquet four? No, so I got those and I got these are just regular flower buttons. And then I got these felt flowers and a whole bunch of colors. You could get these. These have the rhinestones on the middle. You could also get them with pearls. I noticed that they had that on their site. Uh, assortment of the pink ones, the green, and the blue, the teal. Oh, those are fun. And then these little pom-pom things, which I have some pom-poms that I've used on other projects from Queen and Company. Um, they have a little balloon stamp that I use a lot that these are perfect for. But these were $1.95 and then 20% off. I just thought it was such a good, cute little deal. So here is all my embellishments and shaker stuff and bling. So this was my first order. My total order after the discounts came to $62.33. So that's that. So I'll put these aside. And then let's open this big box because this is what I've been waiting for. Um, it's called the Foundations Die, and they did it in a bundle. And I checked their website last night. It's sold out again, or it's not on there. Um, but there is a live event that they're going to be doing coming up, so maybe that's an opportunity um, to get those. I did want to make sure you guys were aware. And again, I'm not 
endorsed, paid anything by them. I just don't want you to miss out on a good deal if you're sitting at home crafting like I am. You can also hop on over to my uh, Close to My Heart uh, site because that website switched over last night. September 1st, we started a new catalog. So, oh, sorry, this is taking forever to open. All right, let's see. Gosh, I don't know why usually these boxes are easier. Woo. Okay, so, oh, and a nice, another nice, oh, let go with us. Nice little thank you bling. Oh, these are pink. These are like the dimple dots or goosebumps they're called. Thank you, queen. That was fun. Okay, so, oh, all right, let's put this aside. So this is what the bundle set was. These are what they call their foundation dies, okay? And they're really good for um, cutting basic pieces for cards, especially. You could probably do a lot of other things, but I hesitated because I have a lot of dies. I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of dies. But I thought some of these were just some I didn't have like for instance look at this like this I was like oh you think it's a postage stamp but when you actually put it on a card it's the scallop okay so here was their little guide that talks you through all of the different things and gives you little sketches on how to put these together and so then I thought well gosh that does make a lot more sense to just kind of have these specific ones they're great size for um for cards uh, you can probably use them on some scrapbook layouts too but these give you all sorts of ideas on how to use these so and then again it was a good deal on the bundle price to get them all together these are normally i want to say they're around 25 or 26 dollars per set which is pretty typical um, but to get them all together, let me grab my invoice. It was $119. Okay. But you also got this set for free with it, which is their sentiment stackers. So let's, we'll get to this in a second. Let's go back to here and have a look at this. So each set, this is foundation seven. Look at those banners. That's a nice frame. This, I love, I love this. To be able to kind of cut a scallop right in the middle of the front of your card and have it be a peek through. I thought that was brilliant. And, and I don't have anything like that. And here's a smaller version of that too. And Foundations 8 has the stitched. That looks like it would be perfect for a, um, a card or maybe a five by seven card layering piece. Yeah. I'm, so I'm really excited to play with these. These would be perfect to stamp something right on there. This, I kind of like this one too. This kind of, um, not quite a rectangle, but those little rounded bottoms with the stitching. You can't get that with a corner rounder. This has the stitching on it. So um, maybe even a little flip book would be great with this. And then the nine is flowers. And yes, I do have some flowers, but look, you got hearts and butterflies and clouds along with some great trailing flowers and things like that. So um, I'm very happy that they brought this back. I'm really happy that I got it when it had a bundle uh, price. And uh, along with, let's look at the sentiment stacker. So this was free with the purchase of this. And these I've seen a lot of people cut foam with. So I'm very excited to kind of try this out. So two six by six paper pads, a mini stamp set. Let's see. It says thinking of, thinking of got this miss. It's been too long, warm, long time. No see happy from all of us. Hello best. And I just wanted to say hi. So then your words are hello wishes and you. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to read that. And then here are the two six by six pads. So let me open this one up real quick. My favorite scissors. Oh, those are fun. Super fun. Great patterns, great colors. 
Very nice. And then coordinating colors to go with that. Very cool. So, pretty excited for that. That's pretty nifty. And then, you know, because I was just so excited, and they did also have um, a slight sale on this other kit, which um, I didn't have. This was, I think, 5 or $6 off. It was their Beach Bound kit, another shaker card. So, um, again, I'm always making kind of travel-related cards um, for my clients. I'm a travel agent <laughs> when the world isn't shut down to COVID. That's... <laughs> what I do. Now I'm doing a lot of, you know, scrapbooking and crafting because that's what we're allowed to do. Um, so these are all cute little beads. These are more like sand. Oh no, they're tiny little, they're like, like little seashells almost. Very cool. And then the shaker foam shapes. And then the shapes that come with this kit are suns, a circle, the sand pail, a swimsuit, surfboard, the boys uh, swim shorts, and a sandcastle. So how fun are those? Here's all the shapes. So those will make shakers, the swimsuit, the surfboard, the shorts, the sandcastle, and the sand bucket. And then the words are surf and sun and summer fun, sending you sunshine, relax and soak up the sun, Bliss is sand between your toes and sunshine on your nose. On your birthday, may the waves hit your feet and the sand be at your seat. Uh, and the sand be your seat. Uh, sunshine is my favorite accessory. Relax, you deserve it. Sending sunny, sandy smiles to you. Sure do miss you. Have a sensational day. Love you to the beach and back. Oh, I love it. I love these sayings. It's a lot of great sayings. And then a paper uh, pad. Let's see. Open this one up. Oh, fun, fun. Look at those flip-flops. And that gingham and those surfboards. Oh, this is going to make some great cards. I am very excited. And if you can see those mermaid scales. So much fun. Again, I don't get a kickback. I'm not an affiliate. I don't have anything to do with Queen and Company other than the fact that I'm a fan. I used to buy their stuff when I would go to the Stampin' Scrapbook Expos. Obviously those have not been happening this year. So I started ordering online. I think this is my third, uh, third and fourth order from them since we've been home or second and third. I can't remember. But also, um, again, not, you know, affiliated with us, but I wanted to let you know. So they, Stampin' Scrapbook Expo, there's been a little bit of controversy among that, and what happened was Paper Wizard and Queen and & Company have since parted ways with Stampin' Scrapbook Expo, and they're doing their own thing, and so that's what this is here. Um, it is going to be on September 12th, 2020 this year. It's online. You want to look for this Facebook page. It's called Shop at Home Live, the brands you love. So I would, they're doing all sorts of fun things now with some, you know, giveaways and posts like that on their page. Um, they've been doing some really fun video road tours to some of these companies. Uh, I wonder if I can find those in here. Um, and it's kind of fun just to, to go behind the scenes at some of these um, companies. Uh, they did do a sample make and take. Those have sold out. Um, but you know, you might want to follow this page. They're going to have some fun things going on. Um, if I could find the videos, you'd want to see those too. Um, just so you can see some of the behind the scenes. I think they've been to Echo Park, My Mind's Eye, Simple Stories. Um, and I don't know who else they'll be going to between here they are, between here and there. So you'll definitely want to check out some of these videos. It's kind of fun to see behind the scenes. So again, not affiliated with any of these. I'm just sharing my little boxed opening with you. Um, some of my retail therapy, as I call it, uh, and some new fun things to play with since, you know, we have no end in sight to, uh, staying at home. But here's one little last look at all of my fun things and my two little freebies that they sent that is very sweet of you, Queen and Company. I love it. Definitely will be using these. Um... But yeah, just kind of stocking up on some supplies and getting my craft room organized. And I just wanted to share what I've been shopping with. 
and you know maybe when we get back to uh, traveling again I could make you a really great card if you want to go to Disney or do something fun like that so anyways leave a comment below subscribe if you want to shop for close to my heart stuff we did just launch a new catalog that started today on September 1st and you can find that info in the description it's Jen Meyer dot close to my heart dot com otherwise enjoy my fun little cleaning company little shopping haul thanks for watching bye bye